Hello, and thank you for tuning in to the first episode of Colonel Cast News of the 21-22 school year. It's time to press play on a new mix of world news, local culture, and entertainment tidbits. to hear your thoughts on how school is going so far and what you are looking forward to this year. Oh, hey, 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 it's Rachel. Good to see you there. This is this year's first ever lunchroom talk. I'm really excited to see what you guys have to say and I hope you guys have really good answers. Alton Berger, how do you feel about school so far? Like, how do you feel about this week? Oh, uh, it's pretty good. It's been pretty chill most of the time. Cool. Um, what do you hope for like the future, what are you excited to you know be a part of the high school with? Uh, I don't know. I just like the environment now. He likes the environment. That's so good. It's been really good, just except for the mask. I would love to have the mask on away. This is Clemens from Austria. Clemens from Austria, how are you feeling about school? Is it different from Austria? Yeah, it is different, but I like it a lot. What do you like about it? Uh, the teachers are very nice. Teachers are always nice here. Anijah Brown, how do you feel about school so far? Um, so far it's been going great. Um, I'm really sad it's my last year, but you know, it's been it's been good so far. What are you most excited about for your senior year? Prom. I'm really excited for prom. I'm so excited for prom too. Thank you. Thank you. Peace out. What's your name? Uh, T Money Squeeze. What's your actual name? Travis Keelan. Okay. And how do you feel about school this year? Uh, it's all right. You know, uh, I walked in the first day and saw Adam Priest here, and uh, made me pretty mad. But uh, if they let him in, I guess they'll let anybody in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's going all right. Are you ready to be graduated? Yeah. Yeah. You know, just meeting new people. You know, there's a lot more people here, a lot more opportunities here, and um, you know, you just a lot more opportunities, and you can do more do things. Like, do you like your classes? Yeah, I like most of them. I like them all. Okay, okay. Are you doing any sports? Uh, no, not this year. No. Are you going to next year? Uh, maybe. I may do them this year. I don't know. Okay. What do you think you may do? Basketball, if anything. Do you want to go out for the bowling team? The bowling team? Yeah. You know, that's not really my specialty. It's not mine either, but guess what? It's fun. Thank you, everyone, for sharing. Okay. For the last 20 years, the United States justified the war in Afghanistan as honorable and winnable. But since President Biden's deadline to withdraw troops came to an end, we saw the Taliban take over their country within days. On August 15th, the Taliban successfully took over the capital, Kabul, causing the president to flee in the collapse of the Afghan government. As of August 31st, the last of the military have officially left in Afghanistan, leaving behind an estimated 200 or more American citizens with no support for a way out. We wanted to know how the people here at County felt about the crisis in Afghanistan, so we went to your lunches to ask you guys some questions. Here's what you had to say. All right, and do you guys think that the U.S. should have sent more troops to help evacuate refugees in Afghanistan? Uh, yeah. I mean, they're all innocent people. I think we should be able to help out over there. I have to agree with him on that one. Yes. All right, can you evaluate that for me? Okay, so, because, like, people, or at least, like, put, like, more, like, medical stuff in there, mm -hmm. because I was, like, reading on news and stuff when I was in class the other day, and they wouldn't let, like, medicine or anything flow in there, and, like, people are, like, having trouble there, and so. All right, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel so, like, bad, because we're going to school and, like, regular day, and, like nothing happened and like nobody knows like yeah not a bunch of people know about this and it's like all right so, kind of sad so you wish that basically more people would put it out there so we could know yeah. be more educated okay yes i do think so all right can you elaborate that for me i think that since and uh, they took the soldiers out that uh now all the women are like going through a, a really hard time yeah and so I think they should have sent more over there so that uh, this wouldn't have happened. All right. Because like all the women over there are now going through like a really hard time where they're fighting for themselves. Yeah, to help evacuate for sure. I mean, it's just it's it's awful over there. It's 
It's a, it's a, it's terrible. Can you elaborate that for me, though? Like, okay, so the refugees are stuck, pretty much. If we sent more troops, it would help a lot getting them out. All right. I don't think we should stay in Afghanistan and continue fighting. But we have to get people out because the Taliban are ruthless. I mean, we all know this. I mean, a lot of people here have parents that, or brothers that fought in Afghanistan, and they know how bad it is fighting those people. So, yes. yeah. All right. And do you think the U.S. military should have stayed in Afghanistan to prevent the Taliban from taking over? Um. Okay. We no. We needed to pull out of Afghanistan a long time ago. It's 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 too much money. It's not helping us. And I mean, it's it's a war that we're fighting. For the Afghan people, the Afghan people aren't doing their part. I mean, it's it, it, it's our war now, when it should be a freedom fight for them. Yeah. But yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Seems like we got a lot of stuff to do here, and uh, it's not really our job to make sure everybody in the world is safe. We kind of have our own country to run. Yep. What he said. Yes. All right. And why do you think that? Because like. It wouldn't have happened, and we have more, like, more people and more guns and army stuff. Yeah. So. Yes, I really do think so because, like, like I said before, the women in are really having a tough time because they a had jobs like, and they were er, like a, a, a politicians and all that kind of stuff, and now they can't do that. Yeah. So I think it's really bad. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. We also asked social studies teachers their thoughts, and Mr. Houston was willing to share. So I think it's a really sad situation, um, unfortunate situation. I don't know that there's any time that would have been good to pull out, but what I do hope is that, the, uh, especially for women, that there's going to be opportunities for them, because I know that's a fear from 20 plus years ago. Uh, but hopefully things will be different and we will find a way to get them some peace. All right, thank you. Thank you to everyone who shared. Class of 25 is here to thrive. That's right. And it was obvious from the start when they had their orientation and their opening day pep rally. Look out fellow upperclassmen, this group came to press play on a great four years. I'm already getting excited for our first spirit week. Next up, it's sports update with Brecken. Power to the sour. And after that, entertainment news with Griffin and Joelle. Welcome to the first sports update of the 2021-2022 school year. I'm Brecken Sauer and my co-anchor Isaiah Scott will be back in the near future. First off, we have some interviews with Coach Boston, Abby Farmer, and Mr. Dempsey. There's also an interview with a brand new addition to our school, Coach Burgett. Hi guys, today we're here with a senior volleyball player on the Henderson County volleyball team. And we just have a few questions to ask her. So Abby, how has the volleyball team been looking this year? Um, we've been looking really good. We have um, a new member on our coaching staff, Steve Howard. He's been working with us a lot, um, just trying to work on different plays to run and different strategies that we can use to earn more points in our games and hopefully um, win against some of those teams. All right, and we just have one more question. Abby, what are the biggest teams, like the biggest threats you are going against this year? Um, well, last year after the region tournament, um, we didn't really have much time to prepare against Caldwell. They were ranked number one in the region, but um, they've lost a lot of their um, better players this year because they graduated. So um, honestly, things are really just looking up for us and we're ready to take on whatever's thrown at us. All right, good luck this season. Thank you. Today I'm here with the girls soccer coach, uh, Coach Dempsey, and we just have a few questions to ask him. Now, Coach Dempsey, what are some, what are some setbacks that y'all have had this year? So, you know, uh, ironically, with all of the COVID stuff going on, we've actually had a lot of problems with the heat so far. Um, so there was, I think, a full week of practice we missed due to heat. So, um, so that's kind of just random things. If it's not been that, we had a lightning delay as well. So just random uh, weather situations have kind of affected us a little bit. But uh, the biggest thing, I think, is just getting back in a routine, you know, and trying to 
um, get kids back to what we did the last couple years and, and um, really make them feel more comfortable um, just being back on the field again. And another question, um, how is the team looking this year? Do you Great. think we're going to have another successful season? Yeah, I think so. I, I kind of interrupt you because I'm excited about it. You know, we have a, a young group that's energetic and uh, it's a really fun group to coach and so it makes my job really easy. But. Um, you know, they're great kids. I think it's been a really good start to the season, um, you know, with a couple good wins so far. And, um, you know, we're looking forward to a lot of really good success this year. All right, good luck. So, Coach, what are a few things that the football team is struggling with this year? I wouldn't say necessarily struggling. Uh, you know, we lost a lot of leadership last year's seniors group, and uh, our kids have kind of had to learn, um, you know, going back and understanding the offseason, how important it is. And, and they've done a good job, um, you know, adapting to that as they work through the summer uh, to get to where we are now. Uh, speaking of seniors, uh, how many seniors do you have this year since we know that the football team is a very young group? Yep, very young group. Uh, we've, got, uh, we've got nine seniors and uh, we've got 25 juniors. And so a uh, big class uh, behind them to help support uh, the, you know, the small senior class that we have. All right, one more question for you. What are the biggest the biggest challenges you're going to have this year? Who is the biggest teams we're going against this year? Uh, I mean, we've got to worry about ourselves. I think that's the biggest thing. You know, as long as we improve week to week like we did um, in the past two scrimmages, you know, we, we improve every single week, uh, you know, with that, with that um, impact of each game, uh, you know, I think that, that we can really um, see some, some success this year. All right. Thank you. Guys, we have one more thing. This is Coach Burgett. He's uh, new to the school. We just He has a couple words he'd like to say on what his position is and what he's going to be doing for us in the future. Uh, very excited to be at Henderson County High School. My name's Coach Jay Burgett. i uh, be working in the athletic department with Coach Mike, Mark Andrews uh, as assistant athletic director, uh, covering substitute classes across the building, and then uh, associate head coach of the football team with Coach Boston. Very excited to be here this year and to be a part of Colonel Nation and to see uh, see the school progress throughout the year athletically and academically. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. The volleyball team has started off with a bang. At the time of recording, the volleyball team is currently 2-0, winning over Webco and Apollo at home. The boys and girls soccer team has also started the season off with amazing records. The boys record at the time of recording is five wins, two ties, and two losses, with Ashton Todd leading the team with 14 goals, 10 assists, and there will be a game September 11th at 7 p.m. against Wrights. The girls' soccer team has started the season off 5-1, with the girls' senior night being this Thursday at 7 p.m. The boys had to reschedule their senior night and have not chosen the exact date to have their senior night yet. I'm Brecken Sauer, and thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Sports Update. Hey County, this is Entertainment with Griffin and special guest Joel. Today we are going to be topic, talking about topics like Black Panther 2 and the new character that's going to be introduced is Riri Williams. She is an engineer and a science student and she will also have her own show on Disney Plus that the release date has not been released. Our next topic is Lizzo and rape about how people are not saying that she doesn't want to be body positivity because she is vegan and they're like, oh, she don't want to be part of the big girl club anymore. All she's doing is she wants to be healthier for herself. All right, our next topic is the VMAs. I really don't know what it is. Can you explain it for me? VMAs is the uh, music awards that will be held September 12th, 2021. I like music. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to hear some people sing. Oh. Our next topic is Candyman. Candyman. So there, the net worth growth is $22.37 million. And also, we got a first female black producer. Let's go. And her name is Nia DaCosta. And she had the number one movie for domestic charts and I recommend watching it. This has been Entertainment with Griffin and Joel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye County. The 21 Days of Kindness Challenge is underway. Today's idea is to play your favorite song that can bring joy to someone. Something like... See, take me on a trip, I'd like to go someday. Take me to New York, I'd love to see LA. Also, get out there and post some pics of kindness. Your entry could be a part of a feature video we are making with our choir. 
make sure to post with hashtag press play so that we can find it and hashtag be kind 21 so Lady Gaga can see it. Our culinary arts farm to table program and FFA ag sales teams have had some big accomplishments recently. Here's more on that. Well, the farm to school team, they prepared a sandwich. It's called Colonel Crazy's uh, Pork Burger. And um, what they did, they prepared this awesome burger that um, they made a slaw to go on it as well. And the team consisted of four different students. Drew Neal was captain, Elijah Ledoux, Jasmine Satcher, and also Tyler Bricotta. And they competed, and as they um, progressed, they, their first competition was on Wednesday. They won that competition. Then they competed again on Thursday and when they won again. And then on Friday, they were state winners. And what they ended up winning was they ended up winning $12,000 scholarship money to Sullivan University. Each student got $12,000 scholarship money. And since they are state winners, they get to go now to uh, nationals and I believe the Nationals are going to be held in October. All right. Thank you so much, Miss Jenny. Thank you, and I appreciate you guys coming and talking to me anytime. To ask her. Mm -hmm. So, Jenna, what is Ag Sales? We've heard that y'all have won over the announcements uh, plenty of times by Mr. Ransom, so can you explain a little bit to me what that is? So, the Ag Sales team is just a group of four people that are have been enrolled in the Ag Sales class here at the high school. Um, what we do is we're so we're given products that are agricultural related and we try and sell them to the judges. There's a team portion and an individual portion. On the team portion, we basically do a pre-call sales plan. And on the individual sale, you sell to a judge and try and sell that product to them. All right, so uh, one more question. Uh, what's your role been in this, in this ag sales process? So the ag sales team, I'm on the team and everything like that. So um, there's not really a role that I have. I'm just a member of the team. But in the FFA program, I am the president. So. All right, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching this week's debut episode of Colonel Cast News. We'll be back in two weeks with another episode. Please be sure to follow at Colonel Cast on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We'd love to hear your feedback and ideas on what we should talk about or investigate. Until next time, stay safe, County. This is the Colonel Cast. Signing. You're supposed to say with Well, you. I can't see it. It's just signing out. Signing oh, out. Signing, signing out. out. <laughs>